Welcome back to Everyone Has a Story, True Tales from Everyday Life. I'm so glad you're here. This is the fifth in a seven-part series, seven gifts, lessons if you will, to remember each day upon waking. In this season of giving, please accept this message of light and optimism. Happy holidays to you. From us, be generous with your love and hugs and always walk in balance. Let's talk about the fifth gift, that of senses. Each night when we go to sleep, Creator places the stone of sleep on our eyes. When the sun rises the next morning, Creator lifts the stone from our eyes that we might live another day. This is an old Panji Sipe belief that my Mede has always taught me. When we open our eyes the next day, we are given seven gifts to take into our day. These are guideposts that show us the path forward to fulfillment for that day, to peace of mind, and calm for the soul. Senses. They are your interpretation of the world around you. Through them, you develop a language to communicate your experiences to others, and others use theirs to speak to you. This is the story of monsoon. Lightning, bright and yellow, traveling in all directions, in ways I've never seen lightning travel before. Sideways, multiple bolts at once, spider webs of electricity, thunder crashing so loudly the windows shake, rain pummeling downward in such quantity and with such force that it looks and feels like all the oceans of heaven have burst through the clouds at once. The washes, also known as dry riverbeds, flood almost instantly with runoff from the rains. The ground is so hard and dry, it doesn't allow much to soak in. Instead, it just rolls off mountainsides and down through flat lands, cutting its way through the desert floor in a violent and tumultuous flow over rocks, boulders, and around trees. Less than 30 minutes ago, the sun was out and we could watch the thunderclouds building higher and higher overhead, darkening, spreading, moving ever closer. At first, we simply watched the lightning from afar, heard the distant rumble, and as the storm moved closer, the winds blew themselves into a frenzy, moving dust and grit through the air. Sometimes you can even feel the grit in your teeth, so fine and foreign in your mouth. The sense of sudden humidity is unmistakable. You can smell it in the air as it approaches. As the rain actually begins to fall, there is a smell of something like tar, acrid, intense, and thoroughly intoxicating. The chaparral bushes, also called creosote, or greasewood are by far the most distinctive smell in the desert during a rainstorm. It is the smell of something that has been dry as dust, suddenly drenched. The ozone from the intense lightning also fills the air, bringing with it the clean smell of charged ions. When living in a place where rain is so scarce, there is particular enjoyment feeling the big fat drops of water pelting your skin. They are heavy and hard hitting. Nature's water massage. During Sonoran Monsoon, all five senses are engaged. We see the lightning, hear the thunder, smell the desert, taste the grit in our mouth, and feel the touch of the raindrops on our skin. It is one of the most magical times in this beautiful, colorful, and flowering desert my family and I now call home. As human beings, we process all experiential information, both internal and external, through our five senses and then we turn them into language. We all experience things differently, however. For some of us, sight is more acute, and for others, it's our hearing. Usually one sense is dominant, and for that reason, it becomes our language and how we prefer to communicate our experiences to others. If one sense or another is lacking, the others will make up the difference. For instance, if someone is blind, their senses of hearing and touch are likely enhanced and therefore their preferred way of communicating may be to tell you about things with references in speech and writing as a stone of sleep is lifted from your eyes for another day accept the gift of your senses they are the gateway to your understanding of the world around you and how you choose to communicate experiences and information to the outside world how do you use your senses is one more prominent for you than the others Please share with us in the comment section below, perhaps over a cup of steaming hot chocolate and a cookie or two. 
Ooh, I could just smell it now. Consider subscribing with notification bell on if you enjoy content like this. A thumbs up sure would be appreciated as well. Thanks for visiting with us. We hope to see you next time on Everyone Has a Story, True Tales from Everyday Life. Thank you.